Queso, the Jacksonville rapper who him and his dad are in jail for murder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, his dad is testifying against him in court. Queso and, and Julio Fulio are rivals. And, um, you know, Queso went to jail for murder. His, I think his dad was allegedly the getaway driver. His dad is testifying against him in court, against his own son in court, because he feels like he's better off outside of prison because he could help his son. He could be a better father outside of prison. <laughs> you damn lie, nigga. We daddy, we better together than cellmates. No, daddy, don't go. Please, daddy, don't leave me. No, hell no, nigga. Okay, he want to testify against me. I want to testify against him. Yeah, yeah, I want to testify against him then. Nigga, nigga want to tell on me. I want to tell on him then. What'd he do? He drove the car. Yeah, he knew we would go do this. No, daddy been in on all the gangster shit I've been doing. No, daddy, don't jump out the boat now. You been, we've been down together this long, daddy. Don't let the white, come on, daddy. Where you going? Yeah, daddy wrong in the motherfucker, homie. He the getaway driver. So obviously he's saying, come on, nigga, let's go do this, son. You supposed to stop him for now, my nigga. So we here, we looking at each other. Hey, son, just go on and take the case. <laughs> <laughs> Say, come on, daddy, don't do, come on, you bullshit nation. Nigga, yeah, you, daddy, listen, I was looking for you to stop me, daddy. You should have been daddy. You should have talked me out of it. Well, son, you act like you want daddy, but you know I ain't no killer. So ride it out with me. We might can beat it. So, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a fucked up daddy, homie. You drove the car for your boy to go kill somebody. You drove the car, my nigga. And now you go hand him over? You took him to go commit the crime. And now you go hand him over. Man, I got a homeboy. He stabbed his next door neighbor 93 times. When he was 12 years old, little white girl. He stabbed her 93 times. After he got through stabbing her, he drugged the body through the house. He was 12 years old when he done this. He put her up against the back of the fence, laid her down with her feet against the fence, and he stacked firewood on top of her to hide the body. He did this in 1988. When his daddy went out there to find a, get some firewood and discover the body, his daddy tried to take the charge. His daddy wasn't even at home when he killed him. His daddy, and I hate to talk about this, his daddy was very abusive toward him. So, of course, dad know the abuse that he had been inflicting upon his son. So to see this human body like this was pretty violent for a 12-year-old kid to display this kind of violent behavior. Dad tried to take the case, but they know dad didn't do it. The real nature of a father is to get in front of the son not to put the son in front of him. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I don't, uh, yeah, now nah, that hurt, homie. Yeah, that hurt to think that a father would hand his son over after handing his son over. Cause he took him to the crime, so he actually handed his son over. I wanted to get in there to hand him over. Uh, how can you be a better father now? 